Stage three of the Amgen Breakaway from Heart Disease Women's Race offered the sprinters their first opportunity for a win. But with the battle for the overall lead still incredibly close, there promised to be plenty of drama before the finish line. I'm really enjoying being in the yellow jersey, being here with my team, um, yeah, being in my home state. It's a wonderful. It'll be, it'll be a good and exciting race. I guess it will be a fight for the GC as well, but I hope we can profit a bit those uh, fights. And we have a bit the same interest, interest to go to a sprint, although I'm not sure if all climbers uh, want to have a sprint. But yeah, I think it will be an interesting race. It's going to be super tight and I think we'll be some aggressive racing today. So um, yeah, it should be fun and it should turn out uh, to be make some good racing and uh, looking forward to that also. I know the, the little circuit, the final circuit pretty well. So uh, it's a little bit different today compared to tomorrow and the circuits from the last few years. But yeah, it's pretty much the, the same roads. Katie Hall started the stage in Elk Grove as race leader. But with Anna van der Breggen only four seconds adrift, even on this flat route to Sacramento, the United Healthcare rider expected a bumpy ride. And so it proved. Not even Mandy Heinz, who's been going for the break all week, gathered any distance. The exposed roads gave the Dutch teams of Bowles Dolmans and Team Sunweb their first chance to split the pack. Riding in echelons in strong crosswinds is their speciality. Ten kilometres in, they had some success. The peloton broke in two with the first group gaining 40 seconds on the other. Rumours that the yellow jersey had dropped behind proved false. Hall had kept up with Bowles all the way, and so the pace dropped and the peloton reformed. Brianna Wall attacked but could only just float beyond the pack. Ingrid Drexel, another break regular, surged, joined by Scotty Lechuga and Erica Allar. They gained a minute but couldn't remain ahead, with the intermediate sprint looming. Time bonuses could decide the race lead. In the run into Clarksburg, Bowles Dolmans used their full complement of riders to lead out unlikely sprinter van der Breggen. Youth Jersey leader Ruth Winder was sent onto the dirt. Peters gave her teammate the best possible chance, but van der Breggen would never have the legs to match the flat speed of Arlenis Sierra. She still took second place to slim her deficit to haul down to just one single second. Danny King followed in third place. United Healthcare immediately took control, a full team at the front to protect Hall and her narrow lead. With 25 kilometres to go, Heinz went for a second attack of the day and got away. The Visit Dallas DNA rider was awarded the most courageous jersey for her efforts. She neared 40 seconds advantage with 15 kilometres left to race. But her lead was speedily diminished by the sprint teams. First, Silence working for sprint superstar Kirsten Weald. Then, Rally Cycling took over as they arrived in downtown Sacramento. With little more than a kilometre to go, a mechanical for Weald. She may have three Women's World Tour wins to her name, but this would not be another. Under the Flamme Rouge, Team Sunweb proved their strength. Three teammates to set up Corin Rivera for a win in her home state. They launched the perfect lead out taking turn after turn before giving way to Leia Kirchman, a rider who has two Tour of California stage wins herself. Rivera had 150 metres to the line, having wowed in Europe all season, the rider with 71 national titles finally got to shine on home roads. Her third Women's World Tour win of 2017. Sierra and Georgia Bronzini rounded out the stage podium. Hall retains the yellow jersey. Oh, it's incredible, and to have it on home home turf is even better. And to show up for my, my state and my teammates, uh, it's incredible. It's funny, I think for a sprinter, everything's like slow motion, and uh, I'm directing the girls from behind, and they they are so dialed, and uh, it was perfect. Que me da mucha confianza, pero bueno, uno no confianza en mí, pues no se debe de confiar de nadie, porque eso depende cómo se se presente la carrera, pero creo que mañana ya es la última y a darlo todo igual que hoy, igual que los días anteriores. I had a puncture at 10k to go and I managed to come back. They made to give me a wheel, so okay, you, I'm really happy to this and I don't take so much risk with some other sprinter did and I'm pretty safe normally in the sprint, so I'm I'm glad to be in there. <laughs>
Rivera and Sierra have now finished in the top 10 on all three stages so far and could make it four with another sprint to come. And with van der Breggen one second behind Hall in the GC, the overall victory remains up for grabs.